In this video, we are getting the Legendary Pig Mask. Now, this mask is quite unique to get, and not many people have it, and I'm hoping to show you how to get it today. Now, this mask is, of course, a pig mask. You will look like the Huntsman Pig and be able to scare the crap out of your friends. To get this started, the first step we need to do is to actually go into our computer and change the time. So, to do that, you'll want to go to Change the Date and Time. You'll want to turn your automatic time off and change the date 4 a.m. So let's scroll up here and hit change. So what that does is it's going to allow you when you first hop into chapter one, you'll be able to get the key in chapter two because it's, it's a little time crunch there. So you have an hour to get there. It's pretty easy. Shouldn't be difficult to do it at all. So what we need to do is we need to go through each chapter and get a singular key. But to get that key, there may be a couple steps that we do along the way. I'm joined by my best friends today, Nippy and Captain Flurry. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Hello. I'm ready. <laughs> Dude goes with an English accent. Hello. <laughs> All right. So to do this, uh, we're also going to turn on infinite lives down at the bottom left. I highly recommend this. Um, it's if, if you don't, props to you. If you die at all and have to restart and head back to the lobby, it will 100% reset your progress and you'll have to start from the beginning. So pre-warning there, please, please turn this on. It, it, you're going to want it. All right, so you're going to want to run all the way through until you get to the second part of Chapter 1 where we get to the cabin. That'll be our checkpoint, and that's where essentially the key finding starts. Don't forget to grab your glow sticks and grab your compass on the way through. You have to grab both, otherwise you can't use the puzzle, so. Where'd you guys go? Oh. We're a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. Alright, so, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna continue past this puzzle, we're not doing anything with it yet, and continue this way toward the cabin. And here we are! We're at the cabin. So you're gonna walk inside, collect your checkpoints just so uh it saves and you'll realize the back of the maze over there is gone there is no return now i'm still getting there no way is she gonna walk through there yes that's wild you went through a wall yeah so we can't go back that way okay but oh, that's crazy that's cool now that we're at the cabin this is a good sign that uh we're making good progress so we're gonna now need to get back to the puzzle. Now I'm pretty sure I remember the way, but bear with me because there's a couple steps. So the first step to get to the puzzle, we have to do or to get to the uh, that crank puzzle we saw to escape. We have to actually do the floor puzzle, if you remember that. So we're going to have to find that first. And I'm pretty sure if we continue, Smiley is here, so please be careful. He can't get you're saying? Good. I think we're good. Yeah, I think it's on the that wall. Yeah, so I think it's right here. This light, you just turn left, straight, it's right here. Yep. It's actually very quick to get back. But we do have to solve this. Now, I did it quick the other day. I'm going to try to do it quick again. I'm not going to guarantee it's right. We have those corners done. And then... So we step on the corner? There it is. Yes. Thank fucking God. <laughs> all right, and then now once you're done the puzzle, you're going to continue all the way back to the beginning. Turn it in later. <laughs> That's awful. All right, so once we follow it all the way back, we should be right here and be able to enter a code. So we're not going to enter the one to escape. What we're going to want to enter is the magical word sacrifice. All right. And that's not going to do anything, but with the word sacrifice in, we're now going to go back to the cabin. And getting back to the cabin should be pretty easy. From the puzzle here, um, we're just going to turn right, go to the end, and turn right again. It's uh, very close. Um, do not get lost. You don't need to go to any other like code stuff. So you should just go straight here. Hopefully avoid Smiley the entire time. Turn right. And the cabin should be right here. Yeah, 
So the part about the cabin is that the key location should be right back here around this wall right there right in that corner do you see it i see you right here in this corner if you look at my stream it's right there see it there's key number one oh. right in that corner. oh i'm sure i'll see you once you guys leave <laughs> yep so that's key well, number one think... chapter one done. I think, Mark, I think once you picked it up it disappeared oh yeah it disappeared. oh did it oh okay cool there it is so it's equinoxes that is the code e q u i n o x e s on to chapter two all right so chapter two should be a little easier uh if not the easiest of all the levels because we're gonna go try to unlock the gates it's gonna tell us no and then we're gonna pick up the key almost instantly after that you will sadly have to do all the puzzles to get out of here, but um, the key to the safe is the easiest part. All right, so the first part, we're going to run all the way to the end of chapter two, right over here. We're going to pull this lever. It's going to open all the gates that we want and then run all the way back to the first gate of chapter two. All right, so now that we're back at the first gate, so the entrance is there, the first gate is right here. We're going to want to walk in, and we're going to want to turn left. Now that I have friends with me, we're going to have to do this together because there is a tree thing. So come on, come with me. We're going to immediately turn left. Okay, thank God we all made it. Immediately turn left. Come around here, and you should see a ritual, as you see here. And there should be a key right here on this rock. Um, so now the painful part is having to do all the puzzles to complete this. Blue, red, green, red, yellow, blue, red. Okay, thank God. All right, that's second one. Turn it, here's the globes. Okay, we'll do this together. That's the first one. That's the second. I know what it is. Never mind. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Wow, look at that. I'm a fucking genius! You probably had to do this one a lot, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> 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 it took yeah, forever to do that one. <laughs> oh, we know. Oh, jeez, that was so fast. The moment, the moment you're like, yeah, I got this. I was like, dude, he's done this at least a hundred times. <laughs> Pro gamer strats. How fast can I put these seals in? <laughs> she stopped. Yeah. Oh no, she's following us. So. Ah. Oh God, pick that up. Bop, 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 bop. All right. Now that we're on chapter three, the first objective is to get to the big mansion. Um, no, I shouldn't say mansion. Get to the the cabin. Uh, not the checkpoint. There is a separate house that we are going to run to. All you have to do is follow this path, and you'll get to the checkpoint house here, and to the other house that we're gonna we're gonna try to get to. So we're just gonna follow it all the way down, and we should be able to find it. All right. So now that we're at the house, we followed the path all the way down. The next step is to get into the attic, so we can actually escape the level and get the key. So the actual first step is to find the key which i'm pretty sure is going to be is it back here i think it's in this back left uh, let me pull out the other lantern there it is so the first key is to the hall so i think the hall key is going to be up here there's a lot of keys we're going to get so bear with me this is going to be a pain all right so first one's open we can open this one this is a bathroom i think it has nothing in it try the other doors this one I think it's in one of these drawers there it is so that key goes to the pantry so back downstairs we go all right so now we're gonna open the pantry here go inside that's locked because there is a key, which, where is it? Right here. 
This key is to Charles's room. So again, back upstairs. Someone wants to shut that. Oh no, never mind. I thought that was the music. God damn. The music <laughs> turns on a lot, so be aware. Uh, so Charles's room, it's right here. So we're gonna open this. I don't think, yeah, you can't open anything in his drawers yet. There's another key. Where is it? I think that's the master bedroom. Is was there a key? Oh, there is a key in here. There is, there is, right here in the bathroom. My bad. Uh, so Charles's drawer key. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna open Charles's drawers. That sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got the kitchen key. So again, back downstairs. And we could just go through this door here. Open that on up. There should be a key in the skull's mouth, which is to the master bedroom. So back upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad, man. Look how thick this door is, by the way. That's bad. <laughs> it's a thick door, Chunky. dude. <laughs> Chunky. All right, so this is the master bedroom here. So I think the key is in one of these. You can check the top of that dresser over there if you want. Yeah, it's probably in there. Oh, no. We can open this door. That's right. Um, the key is on the painting. So now we got the study key. We can open this door if it was just knocking. Now, I don't think there's a key here. What we need to do is pull this green book. And once we do that, we can open this door. And the attic is open. Ta-da! So now, if we walk over to this table, beware of the magical ghost over there in that corner. Go ahead, walk toward it. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're going to need to pick up this effigy dagger thing. So this is uh, to actually get the effigies to leave the level. Now, where the key is that we need to get in this chapter is actually in this dresser. Now, it's locked, and we have to go find a second key to open it to get what we're looking for. That key is going to be in the most impossible place that you could ever imagine. Door, please don't do that. So, I cannot explain to you how someone found this. I can't explain why they put it here. Um, but just bear with me, because it's, it's insane. I give props to whoever first found this. So we're going to walk to the right here. We're going to go around this rock. Not this tree, but this tree. Uh, not that tree. Not the second tree. It's the third tree. This one. So with this tree, we're going to have to climb up this rock. And once you're up here, you're going to see this little crevice. And in this little crevice... If you want to look very carefully, <laughs> it's a key. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know how someone found that. But it's the third tree. One, two, three. Around this rock right next to the house. So it's it's pretty close. You don't have to go searching. Except that guy who found it. Is that. <laughs> it's insane. Alrighty. But once we get the key, we come back up here. We can open this dresser now, and it should be right there at the top. That's our third key done. And then we just finish the level. Oh, there was one that I saw. we saw on our way in. Yeah, that's the one we're going to first. We're going to follow this path, and it should be on our right. Right here. So here's the first one. And then from here, what I did was I kind of just went to this fire and just did a big circle. Because you can see there's the walls here on the edge. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to... It's just this heck would be over there. There it is. There's the second one. I'm a fake tempter, you could say. There it is. There's the third one. All right. So third one's done. Well, we need to keep going because we need to get to the cemetery. That's how we're getting out of here. We're going to go into the crypts. Which the cemetery should be straight over here. All right. Now that we're in the cemetery, we are going to put the dagger into the wall. It's going to do its thing. And then we go on to the next level. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, so for chapter four, the crypts, we're going to have to go and look up a map, a guide. It's going to be a lot easier to do this. So by doing so, it's going to be this guy here. Um, it's going to be Victor's Guides inside Steam. Uh, you can find this map online as well, but the map's going to show you the top floor and the bottom floor. And it's going to be a lot easier to get these keys because there's a lot to go through, a lot of ways to get caught by the monsters. But if we take the shortest routes, we, we can do this pretty quickly. But the goal is to find all these orange keys, there's 10 of them, as well as complete the puzzles so we can escape. Now, collecting the keys and completing the puzzles, when we flip this third lever at the end, will allow us to get the uh, the last key that we need to, to get the key for this level, for the safe. So, the first part we're going to do is only the left side, because we only have room one, and there should only be two keys. There's one on the top level and one on the bottom level. So we're gonna take the shortest routes that I know and get that done. All right, so the first thing we're gonna grab, <laughs> first thing we're gonna grab is this rune and then run all the way to, God, I got idiots for friends, uh, and run all the way to the end and place the rune. <laughs> one, one of you is teabagging the rune and the other is throwing glow sticks in a fire. What do I do with that? <laughs> we're giving you was- content. Lighting the way. All right. We're going to place the rune on the left side. And then we are going to head down to the crypts. So the first path we're going to take is not this gate here. We are going to go to the third gate. So that's the second here. And this should be the third one here. So essentially the path's going to be quite, quite a big spaghetti noodle. And we're just going to keep following it to the left. Ignoring everything we hear. <laughs> mm. And there should be a path here on the left. And the key should be over on the wall right here, glowing. Yes. So that's key number one. Now the second key downstairs. Did you do you guys see the key? Or Yeah, it's not here. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you pick it up. Cool. Just wanted to be sure. So the next path is going to be downstairs. So we're gonna try to avoid the middle area just because all the zombies are there and we don't want to die so we're going to take to the left follow it over there's a two dead end here right here so you're just going to go right and go straight down if you hear him chasing you ignore it we're just going to keep going till he eats marie now i see these gates here it's not marked on the map so we're going to go together ready one two three go nice all right so we're going to follow all the way down here now, for this part, we're going to want to stay to the right as much as possible. Drop some glow sticks so you remember your way back. Oh, not that path. This one here. But stay to the right as much as you can. And it should lead you right over here. And through here is the big area where you will find the second rune. I think there's a zombie in here though. Maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. Okay, so key's here, and so is the rune, and now we head on out. And the good part about dropping your glow sticks is that you can just follow them all the way back. bones sound like something getting deep fried dude it's so bad i hate it yeah now a quick shortcut to get back we can just take a quick left here and then a left again and it should bring us to the uh the first gate all the way to the end and turn left and then this should bring us right to the beginning or to the end i should say now, this is where it gets a little more complicated, but again, we're going to take a quick path to all the keys. Now, it gets a little harder because this is where we fight the pig. And I say fight because he truly is a boss. Um, <laughs> not one I that want to go cliche. against. What did you just say? That was cliche. Hey, old man. <laughs> um, okay, right. you're literally some, so... 
Yeah, look at me like that. No one. <laughs> All right, so we're going to want to go through the second gate. It's not the one down there, the second one. And this is... He's already here. All right, we're going to run through here. It's going to... Oh, don't, 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 don't. We'll just wait. Just wait a moment. <clears throat> Weapon to not caring about dying. Well, I, I don't want to be chased by it. <laughs> All right, so it's second gate, and hopefully he's a little further down. We're gonna want to go over here. It's right there. Wait. Okay, he's going by. We're gonna go around this here. Please tell me he's far enough down. Yes, he is. Okay, the key should be right here in this wall. So that's the next key. We're going to continue straight, avoid the pig altogether, and some zombie that's on my side. And go through this door on the left, straight down, and there should be a key right here ahead of us that's glowing. Grab this key. And then take this right exit. Go all the way down, and we should take our, not immediate right here, a right that's around this corner. Now, there should be a gate thing here, so you guys can have to come right with me. There. Ready? One, two, three, go ahead. Nice. Straight down. And there should be two keys in this room. So there should be a key right here. So this guy here. And then a, another key up here on the top right. You want to grab that, Bryce? Yeah, sure. Nice. Okay. Now we're going to continue down this way. Let me scroll up on my map a little bit. Yep, continue down this way. We're not going to jump down. We're going to go this way. And take another right. And over here should be our puzzle. But there's also a key right here on this wall, so be sure to grab that one. So we're going to have to do this real quick. So memory game. Let's go. Mm -hmm. The pig's coming, by the way. Oh, pig. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Run. He's charging. Woo! Holy shit. He's after you guys. Have fun. Oh, Marley, get away from me. Don't lead him back here, please, for the love of God. <laughs> Sorry. Love you. No, don't. You bitch. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, love you, too. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I could just put the map on screen because I'm editing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so let's go down here. We are going to do an immediate right and then turn left because there is this thing. So I want to screenshot this just because we need that for later. Oh, that's a fucking wall. We're gonna go this way, turn right, and this should lead us to three, which there's a key, but also the, uh, the puzzle piece we need. So let's screenshot this. Back up. Thank you. So the key should be right here. Got that. So now we're gonna turn right here. We should follow this straight down. We're gonna do a little little curvy, mm. noodly thing. He could be above us. He's not. He's above us. We're gonna turn left here, and we're gonna go straight the whole time. And this should lead us to the puzzle. Nice. Okay, so from here, there's a key right back here. Grab that one. Now I need to look at my screenshots. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be the most annoying part, but we got this, okay? We have faith, we have faith we can do this. The last key- I am faithless. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it's good enough for me. So are you. So you you're, you're faceless too, so you're faithless. All right, so from here, we're gonna have to do this maze. Now, it's pretty easy to get through. Shouldn't be anything too crazy, but these zombies are going to try to kill us. And the key should be right here. So, we now officially have all ten keys. 
So we need to get to the end. And the problem with getting to the end is this zombie here on this side. Um, he's one of the most annoying ones in the group because he's literally in our path. Yep, he wants to kill me. Okay, he's on the other side. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Wow, he was, he was at this gate before for me. All right, but we're going to go back here to this exit door. Go on through and put all the keys in. And we should be able to actually complete the level. And you guys can get your achievement, the key warden. If no one's gotten that yet. <laughs> right. I haven't. So place your keys in. Did you guys get the achievement? I did. Nice. You did. So before we flip this, well, that's a good sign. You got it because that means we had all 10 keys. So we have the choice, the chance to get uh, the, the key that we need for the safe. So when we flip this, there's a timer. Now we need to go the exact path that I'm going or we're not going to make it again. And we have to come back down here and do it twice. So essentially the plan is when we go out of this maze, we're going to go to the top right. It's an instant path to the top. And then we're going to run back to that first area, jump down a hole, and then come right back up with the key and then leave. But it's a run. It's a race. So you ready? I'm, I'm, I'm ready. One, two, three. Now you like obviously running fast. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> you obviously don't have to get the key and escape at the same time. But if you could do it, it's uh Oh, this fucking zombie. Uh oh. We got a problem. We got a problem. Oh fuck. Oh you got Murray. You got Murray. Murray, just go to the top. You actually got a cheat sheet. Oh, just bleed out. Yep, just just uh go to the top and we'll meet you there. Look to the, okay. the first door on your right. First door to your right. I think I'm gonna have to die too. If you if you need to, by all means. I don't know if we all die if it does something, but I mean, if that's the easiest way, then yeah, just well, die. He, <laughs> I didn't. I ran back a little too far, so when you ran past him, I didn't have a chance. He got up. Oh, did he? Yeah. After he was done eating Murray's face. All right, someone. Oh, there's one right now. there. Entrance. There's literally one blocking our entrance. <laughs> okay. If you can get around them, that would be great. If not, I'm going to have to run right the fuck by him. I think the pig's up here, too. I hear him. I see you guys. Okay, so go. we're going to go straight to like where I'm running. Straight that way. But don't let the gate shut. There's a gate. You'll see in a sec. Okay, right here, there's a gate. Oh, fuck. He's in the way. Go, 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 go. Damn it. I knew I'm it. I'm sorry. I gotta keep going. Sorry, bud. We're gonna turn left okay. here. We're gonna jump down. Turn right. Now this is the part I need to look at my map real quick. Okay, so we jump down, we turn left, we go straight this way. We're gonna go around, turn left. And it's not that immediate one. It's gonna be... I think this one here. It should be this one. Damn it. How did you run past him? <laughs> I honestly have no idea. Yes, there it is on the ground. See it? Got the yeah. key. Grab it and let's go. We don't have time. We gotta go, go, go. So follow the glow sticks back. Are we going to the very end? Yeah. Turn right. Got the bones. We can run up the bones and we're gonna do a little parkour, Marie. We got this. Okay. All right, so from oh, from here, and jump on this, jump across, do it again, because there's a zombie there. Did you make it? Fuck it. Yeah. Oh fuck, Big there's another zombie. Oh well. It's okay, we can, we can get around him. Come on. Oh shit. Okay, I fell. I fell. Bryce, if you I'm can run to the end, run to the end. Get us out of here. Right, I'm gonna try a pig guy from over here. But essentially, guys, what you want to do here is just literally run through the gate as fast as possible. I mean, if you if you got the key and can get to the end at the same time, by all means, that's that's awesome. But it's not absolutely crucial. You could just get the key, go pull the lever again, and come back. I'm just trying to save time. 
I'm gonna try to get around this zombie. I might die. Oh, I did it. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. There Chapter we go. four, done. All right. So chapter five. This one's gonna be a little more intense than the crypt. The crypt was more just dodging monsters, collecting keys, and getting out. But this one's gonna be a little more stressful, just because we have to do the entire map, and there are levers all over it. We're gonna have to go back and forth a couple times. Not as much as the crypt, uh, or, or the, I should say, chapter three with the house. But uh, you have a lot higher of a possibility of dying in this one. All right, uh, so the first lever is gonna be at this area over here with the alligator. So what we call checkpoint one. So the pathing here is gonna be a bit important. Um, it can get a little tricky, but we're essentially gonna be going in the outskirts of this area. So we're gonna wanna go left here first. And as long as you're on land, it won't attack you. So go this way and run all the way through here. Now we wanna make sure we look both ways for alligators as he's right yeah. over there. And we're gonna jump to this. And then we're gonna keep on going. And run on back here, which I didn't even know existed. <laughs> Damn. I think there's an achievement or a medallion on that well, too. So, But uh, we're going to run around here, run around the fence, go back here, and see that little platform there? We're going to want to make it to that. So look both ways and get going. Uh-oh. You might want to get on it. Okay. Oh, he's right there. Ooh, oh, yeah. Hi, buddy. He's a big boy. He's chunky. Yeah. Eat this, buddy. <laughs> and he's uh, he's in an area we don't want him. So we don't all have to go and do this part. Um, of course, he turns around. We only, only one of us needs to flip this. So there's a lever, and it's at this tree. Not this one on the right. This one on the left that he's passing. It's literally <laughs> under the water right in front of that tree. So once he's a good distance, I need you guys to let me know when he's coming back. But it should be right here. It's glowing. I'm gonna flip it. He's coming back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Almost uh -oh. there. You might not, not make it. Oh. Nope. No. Nice. Crawl towards us. Oh, that's a good point. I'm in the water. Oh, I'm literally underneath you. Can you reach oh. me? Oh. Wait. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah oh, yeah, yeah. nice. Bring me back so you can eat me a second time. Oh, not again, you son of a bitch! Get on land, get they on land. some pork. Get oh, on no. land. He got me. Oh, fuck. Who First, died? Me and Marie. Me. Oh, you both suck. I'm on Which land. Which gonna save? Where are you, Bryce? Oh, you're dead, too. No, he's not. <laughs> oh, my God, he got over there fast. <laughs> All right, so once you're back at the beginning of the level, uh, <laughs> very quickly and promptly, we are going to essentially just finish it so we can get on to the next part. And to do that, we need to get into this cabin, which I'm praying he is not right here. And this essentially will trigger the event to then collect some items. Because we need to get into this lockbox. So we're going to turn this on, and now we're going to do a big circle. All right, we're gonna run up here, and there should be a crowbar in here. Right here. On to the next house. We can actually just jump over the ledge here. I think the easiest way to get to this next one is just by running this way along the water. Cool. And now we use the crowbar, and I believe we get the key. Key is on the bed, and now we return. And yeah, this is going to be a kind of an annoying part. We can either retrace our steps, or we just pray the alligator doesn't see us. Wow! You got some real bad timing, you know that? Did he just a really bad timing. That is really bad timing. <laughs> he yeeted me. 
I saw that. He like really threw you. Oh my god, I can't. Oh, I see yours a flashlight. Yeah, yeah. Uh. That was like awful timing. Yeah. You've done that twice now, way. I mean, you said that, and then you jumped in the water. Say that again. <laughs> Get out of here, you stupid, overgrown lizard! Oh, oh god. my god! <laughs> Damn, it's sensitive. All right. Uh, so now we open this, and if you guys remember the absolute hell of this part, um, all I'm going to say is good luck. There are yeah, like, leeches. Uh, no, I didn't get electricity part yet. Not yet, no. But the leeches Not is the worst part. part. They literally will spawn on top of you. I'm going left. I have better luck going left. Where are they? What? Don't say that. You Don't question it. Don't question it. Just go. Look to your left. Oh! It's to the right! That's wild. I died three times trying that in the stream. So there is a very important part that we cannot miss here. Um, if you look at the objectives, we have to find a lot of parts, and we have to find keys and repair the boat. There's a lot of things we have to do. But the first part to escaping this place is grabbing the key in this pig pen. Um... I completely forgot it the last time I was here and had to backtrack the entire way. So I will pre-warn you now. It's in here on a hay bale, and uh, we need that. Right here. This guy. All right. Now we continue on to the parkour challenge. Um, you can run across this if you have a friend who is better at it than you. By all means, use them. Uh, but yeah, we can just run across this, turn it off, and the, key the lever should be coming up. All right, lever number two is beyond this gate. So once we have this open, we can jump down. And just crouch right on under. And then we can go right up here to this house. So we need to grab this checkpoint just because it's better if you don't die. Um, the key location is actually going to be at this checkpoint. So we won't be able to see it now until we finish this part. But we will keep this checkpoint and not use any others at the moment. Oh, I know what you didn't check. Oh, fuck. I know where it is. It's back here behind the checkpoint. Oh. Yep. Oh. But uh, this part is going to be quite difficult. We have to go get all the parts in this area. I'm pretty sure there's only three, maybe four. I think there's four. But we're going to grab it real quick. The, the dog is here, though. So if he sees you, you die almost instantly. Yeah, it does. Right here? Yep. There's a gas tank here. So that's one. This should be... Watch out for the dog. I don't know where he is. Don't think there's one in here, but we'll check again. Nope. There's one in that house there, straight across, if someone wants to grab it. Yeah, sure. I got a piece. Nice. Okay, yeah. These houses... I... I have a piece right here. Oh, you got one in the White House? Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so I think it's in this house right here, the other piece. Yep, there it is. All right, so that's three out of six. So that means the Mosquito has three other pieces. And you might want to come over here too, get your checkpoint, because we probably will die doing this. Is there a piece up there? Yeah. Nice. All right, well, let's go this way. So we're going to jump right, down right, right, here. Right. We'll go over here. Go around this. And slip around the back here. So, lever two. Mm. Alrighty. I'm just going to go for it. There we go. Leeches bias. We're going to run okay. straight this way. Around this big tree. And it should be right here in the water. All right. And then you run on back and pray to God nothing kills you. We do need to go into this house, though, on the right here. And there's a, a, a piece in there that we need to grab. Seems it doesn't care. It still wants to eat Bryce. All right. So now we just check Are that. Are you kidding me? Did it get you? 
Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, Marie, there's something around your face. All right, so now that we've opened this floodgates, we are able to pass through it, and we shall continue back to the beginning where the pig pen area is. And be careful, there's leeches here again. And uh, we're going to repair the gate and get to the next part of this level where we'll find the third lever. All right, so for this part, uh, the big thing to not do is to touch this checkpoint. We want to avoid it so we can get a fast travel back. It's going to be here on our right with some lights. Uh, so just stay to the left, go up the ramp, and you shouldn't you shouldn't get it. You should be all set. If you get it, it's not the end of the world. You, you will have to do the run all the way back to that white house where we're going to be next. Where that dog is. The, the smaller dog. So do not go to the right here. Stay to the left. Now, the problem with this is if we die... We have to come all the way back. Oh. Yeah. So, we don't die. All right. He's going around the edge, so what we want to do is to get this lever. We're going to go straight back here. And we're going to jump off this ledge to the left. And yes, he can path down here to kill you. The lever's right here. A so weird-ass gonna... lever. It's very weird. All three of them are like that. Oh, there's an alligator. Nice! Nice to meet you! Alright. Uh, so now that our save... Oh, it's actually mine's at the Mosquito, too. Okay, cool. So now that our save is here at the Mosquito, it's a lot easier to go get this key. The dog is right there. Of course he is. And for you two specifically, you might actually remember us trying to do this. Because I was very curious what was out there. And I think I died to this alligator a couple times. So we're going to jump this way to the right. Once we go through that house. And there's an alligator somewhere out here. But we're going to pray he's not here. So let's go. How did you guys get over there? Can just I jump ran. off this? Oh yeah, yeah. It wouldn't let me. I'm gonna go all the way around the edge here. And there should be a little pedestal. Bryce is dead. I'm dead. <laughs> There's a little pedestal right here that should have the key on it. I'm dead. Oh my god. That was crazy. He can go through the walls? Dude, I am in the wall. Alright, well, I got the key. Alligator! I'll save you, Marie, so he can eat you again. Don't I have to die? No. Maybe. Get eaten twice, bitch. Oh! I thought he got both of you. Because he really yeah. he took Marie down quick. Yeah, I didn't even hear him come. <laughs> he was just there. Oh, that's 100% getting clipped. Okay. Uh, um... <laughs> <laughs> So, sadly, uh, we now need to go all the way back to that end level and actually complete it. Because we have all the keys we need to open the safe. So, um, I'm 90,000% sure if you right now left this chapter to go to chapter 6, you'd lose all your progress because you went to the lobby. So, you actually have to complete the, the level. Alright, checkpoint saved. And now we actually have to complete this part. So, the key to do this is there's a lever on the left side and a lever on the right side. We do not want to die to the dog who is going to the right, so we will grab this one. Oh, can't go up that. So we'll grab that one. Dog's right there, oh my god. Okay, he's going around the outside, we're good. Uh, grab this lever on the right. And now we shouldn't have to go downstairs anymore. Move this out of the way. Two pieces in. We should be able to... I think we gotta flip one of these. It's this one over oh, there here. we go, yeah. Okay, so now I'll flip this. We should move the log. It's crazy that we can just pick up a log ourselves. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Like, just three uh, of us. We're going to do the hooks again. <laughs> Let's 
soon as that finishes. Oh, you gotta hit the lever down there. No. Yep. And now I'll click this, which should send it through the cutter. Right? Oh no. We just click on <laughs> it. Okay. Yeah. Wow, you are really just... He needs to feel something in his life. Is uh, your wood showing? You just happy to see me. Yeah. Some big piece, isn't it? <laughs> that looks like you're shitting a log. <laughs> 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 oh, that's pretty good. Alright, you ready? I didn't know you were a wizard. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> All right, we are going to continue this way, and now we just need to get around the dog. Uh, there should oh. be nothing else we need to do, so where is he? Oh, he's right there. Turn left? He's not going to turn left. Oh, he turned right. Go, 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 go. Don't see us, don't see us, don't see us. Go, 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 go. Go right. to the boat. Yep, get to the boat, and we are on to the last part which is literally getting your cosmetic. All right, chapter six. The last thing we do is as soon as you get off the dock, we are going to turn right. Don't go inside the level. We're just going to turn right, and we're going to follow this all the way along the edge, which will bring us to the secret vault. Or safe, I guess you could call it. You guys would? Nice. Yes, I fixed my audio again. No worries. I always forget, and it's so eerily quiet. All right, and here's the safe right here. I'll let you guys put in the keys. All right. When you look at it, you should be able to place each one. Three, four, and five. And there it is. Whoa. There's your mask. Do I have it on? No, you have to equip it when we go to the lobby. Wow. But I'll pick it up a second time. Maybe I got two. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's it. So now we can literally just go to the lobby. Oh, thank Take God. us home, baby. I and... really, at first, I thought we had to play that level. Oh, no, no, no. That one's bad. And you should see it there now. So when you have it, you just click on it and you should be wearing it. Yep, there you go. And there's yours. You got your masks. The hardest cosmetic to get in the game. <laughs> no, honestly, that that was that's an atrocious uh, that's an atrocious mask to get. But uh, no, it's truly helpful to use these these maps provided by the, the community actually. So like Victor's Guide for Chapter Four, uh, that that crypt one is without it. I, I don't think I could have got those keys. But yeah, no, uh, that's it. That's all you gotta do. You're all done. Congrats.